Today we're going to go through the process of bucking in a level, also known as setting up a level at the height of an existing vertically set benchmark. So let's talk about a few tips and tricks to get set up as quickly as possible. Looking at the benchmark that we're coming from, I can see that it's finished floor plus five feet. Of course, depending on my setup, I understand that bringing out a tape measure, I'm going to be more or less five feet above the finished slab. When I set up my level in the same fashion, I want to be more or less five feet to my instrument center. I can see that I'm a little on the low side here, but I'm definitely close enough to get started. Making sure that my legs are set properly for the surface that I'm working on, I'll go ahead and level up. Give it a tap, check my 90. Adjust the bubble halfway back, tap it, check my 90 again. Okay, looking good there. I'm going to observe my back site or my benchmark of origin. I can see that I'm about 400 slow. When I make my adjustments, until I get under 100, I'm going to make the adjustment to all three legs. So if I'm about 400 slow, I'm going to adjust each leg up approximately four hundredths. If it was a tenth low, I'd adjust all three legs up a tenth and so on. Level up again, check my 90, looks good. I'm going to look at my target. Okay, now I'm about two thousandths high. Well, now that I'm under that hundredth, I'm only going to make an adjustment to one leg, and I'm going to make an adjustment of double the distance of my height difference. So if I'm two thousandths high, I'm going to adjust one leg down four thousandths. Yes, this is all approximate and by eye or by feel. Adjust the bubble again. Okay, now I'm right on my level mark. I'm going to go ahead and set my foresight. It's going to be another vinyl target set at finished floor plus five feet, which is now the height of the instrument center at my level. I'm setting a target on this wall, which will eventually be a stairwell running up through the core of the building. When I'm out in front setting a benchmark target like this, I'll take two observations and make a crow's foot at each side. I want the distance between those two crow's feet to be longer than the width of the target that I'm about to place. Then I'll strike a line between the two targets using the rigid edge of my one foot level. I use the solid aluminum edge for scribing and the other magnetic edge only when I'm actually using it as a level, which isn't often because I actually prefer to use my builder's level for making or transferring any kind of elevations. All right, now we've set our foresight, but of course we're only halfway done with the process. We need to close this level loop. Just like any other level loop, whether we're setting two elevations that are different or transferring elevations using the level line inside the level, we're still going to break our setup or kick a leg or whatever term you're used to hearing. I'll go ahead and level up again. I haven't changed my height much, so I'm confident that I'm pretty close. I could pull out my tape measure again and make sure that I'm still sitting in the uh, plus or minus finished floor plus five foot range. On this setup, I'm about two hundredths high, so I'll adjust all three legs down the two hundredths. And level up my instrument again. Looking good. Okay, I'm about a thousandth high, so I'll adjust one leg down twice that amount, or two thousandths. It isn't much, in fact, it hardly even affected our bubble level, but I do need to be exact. I'll level back up, tap it, check my 90, adjust halfway back. Okay, looking good. And I'm there. Now my new target is the backside. I'm theoretically creating a new height of instrument, and then I'm citing my foresight, the original benchmark, to close my level loop. I should be looking exactly at the center of the target. 
and I am. So I've closed a successful loop. Not only did I transfer an elevation using the bucking in method, but I've gone through the correct procedure and closed my level loop back to the point of origin as a verification. Now that we've resolved our level loop, I can place my new vinyl target. Before we place the target, we want to make sure that the concrete is nice and dusted off. Probably even a good idea before you place your marks so that you don't wipe them off with your broom. These vinyl targets by Seiko are excellent and they don't leave uh, residue on finished concrete surfaces. And they last a really long time in the sun. We'll place our target, making sure that our two edges line up exactly with our pencil marks, taking as much time as necessary to make sure we've got it perfect. And I do mean perfect. I want to make sure that the target is affixed to the concrete as well as possible before I'm done. Then we'll go ahead and remark the elevation and a description so it's clear exactly what this target is. Then I'll add my initials and the date. Okay, that's the process start to finish. Thanks for visiting Lean Survey. There are plenty more best practice, quick tricks, and tip videos on the way. Be sure to like, leave a comment if you have recommendations for content, and click that subscribe button for more.